When you're a young family with a young child with autism, your life becomes terribly restricted. And I can remember back when Andy was diagnosed and he wanted to watch the same video over and over again. Whenever we wanted to leave the house, he'd start banging his head against a wall. And this is the life you have with a young child with autism. Sometimes it's hard to get out of it. Our son Andrew was diagnosed with what we now call classical autism. At the time the services were very limited and that was the idea behind AIU. We opened our first centre in 2005. Twelve little children started in that program. They've now graduated and finished school and gone on to the next phase of their life. So AIU is one of the largest providers of services for young children with classical autism. We currently have about 300 children enrolled in the program. Almost 2,000 children have been through the program. Fair to say that in Queensland, AI has changed the lives for a generation of young children with autism and their families. When we started, our idea really was to have a safe place where these children could go and have on site the various therapy specialists that they required and set it up in the framework of a play-based program. It's play-based, but every bit or thing that the child does has an aim or direction in building their capacity and giving them the skills they need to live independently and be successful at school. We recently looked at the costs and the benefits of the AIU program. The trajectory of these kids' lives fundamentally changes and that has implications not only for future care, future education, future incomes, impacts on families, respite and so on. It's an extraordinary outcome because for every dollar that comes in here, about $6 to save for the community. I've never seen a cost benefit that has such a dramatic ratio or a significant ratio. In the six years that I've worked at AIU, there's been so many memorable moments. One of the really big ones that stuck with me was when we had a little boy who was using a language communication device called LAMP. And he'd been using it for about six months or so. And then suddenly one day, he started to press the icons to head, shoulders, knees and toes. And when he pressed the icons, he also started using his words. And it's one of the first times we'd ever seen that child use words in any context at all and I think that will stay with me for the rest of my life. So we've been a beneficiary for Chain Reaction now for nearly a decade. What Chain Reaction has done is build these places where all this wonderful work occurs. The money that raised is raised by the ride we leverage to state and federal funding that then actually leads to the construction of a centre. I guess I had no idea really until I've seen it what gets achieved through the fundraising and it's quite significant for playgrounds I understand that are being planned for the fundraising we're doing this year which is huge. They're actually really beneficial things for the development of the children. It's all for an amazing cause. This charity has really come from next to nothing and, and has grown to multiple centres across Australia and is it helping a huge number of families and the changes that it makes within those families is profound. It's all for a bigger purpose which you know, makes it all the more enticing. Having a centre like this to help families and their children is a massive important part of the community. What I love is just the simplicity like pushing Olive and she's pointing and she's saying push fast and so she's obviously communicating with me what she wants and when you're held onto her and I let go of her and her whole face just lights up and she's just on cloud nine and there's nothing more beautiful than that. You can see the impact flow through for these kids through to schooling, their families and the community. They're just able to integrate far better within these, you know, groups and function and thrive even. So